Hello. How are we doing today, everyone? I hope we're doing well. As for me, well, let's get into the game first. I've been... Uh, been a crazy week for me, let's just put it that way. There's a lot of things I have not experienced that are hitting me all at once. And shit is crazy. I'm happy, I'm scared, I'm terrified. But I'm happy. Hi Blaze, thank you for coming. Okay, what happened to the little girl here? Oh, she wasn't little. But seriously, what happened to her? Hey Pika. You two are gonna be stream regulars now, aren't you? The power plant. Oh, hello there, Mickey. I'm a doctor now, am I? What do you mean, power plant? What's that? Wait, she's sleeping? Power plant ROR2. I don't know what that is. You're gonna have to inform me. Is she sleeping in here? Oh, she is! I didn't even notice! Aww. Well, I know what ROR2 is. What's the power plant? Damn, look at that. Look at that ass. That is not a dump truck. That is an international cargo freighter. I know, I love this game too. And I'm finally gonna beat it. That is my promise to myself. It's such a long game, but I will beat it. God damn it, if, if it takes me forever. I know she's a bug, but damn, she got a badonk. In <laughs> the capsule. So it's character, huh? I don't know which character it is. Okay, so. First things first. Let's get... Uh, let's get the thumbnail out of the way. And deal with the Mantis Lords. Am I a professional mountain climber? No. Not even close. I've gone to like a rock climbing place once. And I remember, I was scared to let go of the ropes in fear that they dropped me. Oh, I already know what the main sport Lord's fight is like. So the first time I played this game, I didn't know that you were supposed to get the first sword upgrade before taking them on. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Uh, yeah, I'm going the wrong way. So, the first time I fought the Mantis Lords, it was painful. But the next time I fought them, it was way easier. I still died, in fact. So, I'm surprised I didn't die to the, uh, the Soul Master yet. Uh, if I can take him out without dying, I might be able to do the same thing with the Mantis Lord. So, I'm optimistic. Of course, I can always be wrong. Yeah, heights are scary. I am afraid of heights. Goes this way, right? Fuck you. Heights are indeed scary. I remember once, uh, when I was a kid, my parents took me uh, to a place called the CN Tower. I don't know if you know what that is. 
it's in Niagara Falls. Uh, it's this tower, which probably isn't as impressive as it used to be. But it's this massive observation tower, which also serves as like a lightning rod for the city. Immobile character in the fourth stage. Hmm. I'll have to do research on that because I still don't know what you're talking about. But anyways, yeah, I remember once as a kid going to the CN Tower, which- Are you kidding me? Fuck you, sign! Yeah, and it was pretty tall. And I remember the elevator up there, which was this, like, glass elevator so you could see outside, you could see yourself rising in the air. Uh, I remember clutching onto my mom so tightly, I might have been like 4 or 5 at the time, I was so scared. And it didn't help that the tour guide described how many feet in the air we were going right now. Like, gee thanks. And I remember getting to the top and walking around on that big glass floor. I don't remember what I thought of it. All I remember is... When I got down from the tower, like on the way down, I wasn't scared anymore. But I was certainly scared when I'm going up. Uh, what about Pika and Blaze? You afraid of fights? Or second story mall. Hmm. Yeah, it was insane. Like I said, I did do rock climbing at like this place once. Like this indoor rock climbing center and... After I dropped the first time and they caught me, ow, I, uh, I wasn't afraid anymore. Uh, here we go. That's a dangerous room over there. I see Geos. I don't know, I... I mean... See, that's the thing, I kinda do feel an obligation to. Even if I have to, like, use a walkthrough, I don't care. If I remember correctly, this is where the bench is, right? Yes, there's a bench here. Oh yeah, that's right, I have to beat the lords first. Fuck me. 
I forgot. That was another thing I remember about this fight. Uh, the closest respawn point is so far away. So you really, really... Have to get there the first time. That's probably why they put all these switches here to give you a proper checkpoint. Like proper checkpoints so you don't have to go through the spike just to get down to them. Piece of shit. I don't know, maybe I will 112% the game. like some more soul built up first. And so... Yep. Alright. Gonna have myself a drink of water. Alright. Bring it on, bitch. And the heart support. I'm not using my boss build loadout, I just realized that. Ooh, that was close. Ow! I had a feeling that was about to happen. Ow! Will this be my second death? Is this what Toho players feel like? That state of, like, pure hyper-awareness? Okay, what the hell? That's not supposed to hit you! No, you're supposed to be able to stay in the center, it doesn't hit you. Fuck you. Okay. So I don't lose it. Alright, second death! Alright, changing my loadout. Death number two. Yep, the Mantis Lords are difficult. Even when you have the upgrade, they can be a handful, especially if you don't have the right loadout for boss battles, which is to heal really fucking fast. By the way, did you or Pika end up getting the bandit? Because we got past stage 3 last night.
The bandit, you know, the one class that apparently isn't free. Oh, that's good. You two should play Risk of Rain together on stream. I think that would be really fun. I know if you do that, Anna will definitely be there. She loves Risk of Rain. Oh, hold on a second. And just go this way. Honestly, you two really should. That would be so much fun. Presenting a game can be so hard, though. Like, and is it really, really worth it? There's only one game I ever felt like 100%ing, but I've never done it. And I don't think I ever will, because I've kind of lost the will to play it, even though it's one of my favorite roguelikes of all time. And I just enter the gungeon. Yeah, it's pretty hard. I mean, there is a difficulty setting, but it's hard. <laughs> and another reason why you and Lily should keep playing that is because then she can get the Artificer and burn everything like I know she wants to. I can hear it. There you are, you little shit. Get back here. Get in my belly! How do I flip this switch? That sounds like an important switch to flip. Good question. Maybe. What do you think it tastes like? I think it might taste like marshmallows. Are not breaking sweat. I gotta say, the second phase of this fight is really interesting because it's still the same attack patterns, it's just one after another, and it really does make you panic because you have no idea what combination they're about to do. Like, it really keeps you on your toes.
There we go. Only two attempts. Okay, before I go any further... There we go. And now I'm allowed to rest. Mark of Pride. I... What did that one do again? Did it also extend your reach? Does it you reach? Nice. Now let's take this off. We can increase the range of nail barrel line and then the strike flows further away. Nice. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, wait a minute. Where's the fly charm? Did I not equip it? Guess I didn't. There you go, right back where you belong. Now, what was the last one I've had on here? Was this one? I think it was. Time to go down into the deep dark. And this is another good example. Uh, this next year is a good example of something I said when on the first stream. Which is just how many variations this game has on the concept of bugs. Like how far they take that concept and that aesthetic. How versatile they make it. Because you, here you have this really... Here he is. D -d 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 no more this place gives me the creeps. Vicious little creatures burst out all over. Uh, the place and the passages are dark, twisting maze. Unless you're well prepared, I urge you to leave. Though if you're feeling strong enough to descend, uh, would you like to buy my map? Still thinking about your maps, buddy? Sure. What a horrid warren of angry beasts. It's going to take a whole lot of effort to climb out of this dark pit. I think I'll hide here for a little longer. So, like, up until this point, we've seen, like, the game have its dark side. Like, in terms of, like, thematic dark. But this is pure, like, arachnophobia. And, I guess, insectophobia as well. Like, this is creepy crawlies territory, this area. I mean, even the spike floor moves because it's creatures. Yep, you see, I'm not either. Oh god. Because <laughs> Felicity... Who I would hope makes an appearance, although she's probably sleeping. Uh, she lives in Australia, where arachnophobia is high. 
and with a good reason. Okay. Nice try again. You're not gonna spook me like that. Ow. Ow! because of the spiders. Wow. Probably because the world of Polonite is really, really tiny. I mean, they're bugs, are they not? Again, I'm not an Avengers fan, so I wouldn't know. I'm sure there's some sort of Reddit you could ask about this kind of shit. So where am I supposed to go now? Pretty sure. Yep, this is new. Well, because of how many times I have to go through it because of that one challenge room. Man's armor is powerful enough to destroy a rock the size of Manhattan. Uh, so he would probably get to the end without breaking a sweat. Yeah, he would. <laughs> oh god. Imagine the cartographer finally finishing the map only for Iron Man to come in and basically turn Hollow Nest into a giant gaping crater. God, that would be hilarious. Like, that is classic physical comedy right there. After all this time, I'm finally done, immediately gets destroyed. Okay, can these little shits get away from me? Oh 
Oh my god! Godbuster? No idea what that is. Again, not familiar with Marvel and shit. are so annoying. That's one thing about this place, the enemies are so relentless. It's like, it's not ne that they're necessarily hard, it's that they're just relentless. They never leave you alone. Oh, almost fell in there. What's in there? Oh, and it here we see one of these bugs, which is probably hinting on what's come, what's to come in the future. to kill celestials, aka cosmic beings that can warp reality. Yeah, sounds about right. It's kind of another reason why I'm kind of tired of superhero movies, is the stakes always get raised to insane extent. You literally have, like, a person, a human being, a mortal, making a weapon to kill a god. Like, at what point... Are the stakes finally reached? And that's the thing. I think superhero movies, or like at least the Marvel series, hit its peak with Endgame. And I remember like being in college and listening to a bunch of normies in my class talk about it, and they're like, where are they gonna go from now? They just literally beat the ultimate threat to existence. It's like, what can they do now? This is what Marvel's been building up for, for, like, a decade. Oh, I remember this place. I'm not gonna interrupt these guys yet. I'm curious about something before I do that. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, game. Go fuck yourself. What? His voice is cute. He's adorable. Like, listen to this guy preach. Go on, Galaka, Sano Chere, Cherel, Go on, Go on. Look at this cute little guy. Go on. Go on. <laughs> Let's talk about what was named Rex. Hmm. <laughs> With a sinus infection. That's one way to put it. I've definitely been here before. Am I directly under Queen Station? I think I am. Oh wait, I can do this now. What's this? Oh, a sports room. I think I remember that one.
Hey, Deox. Is that a Van Braun, <laughs> Von Braun reference? Is that a Citadel reference? Yes, it is. How you doing, Deox? Glad you can make it. Now that I'm back here, and now that I have the Heart of Iron, or like the Crystal Heart, I mean, not Heart of Iron, we are not going to conquer the world as the Kaiser Reich. Okay, so this is where I discovered, huh? I know there's a mask shard like here. I'm pretty did I just explore that yet. I'm gonna double check. Anyways, next major villain they are planning to bring into the MCU is Kang the Con Conqueror in the comics. There's more villains, obscure and more powerful than Thanos. See, that's the thing. When does it fucking end? God, it reminds me of fucking Fairy Tale. I can't believe I watched Fairy Tale for like, I think, over 200 episodes. Like, it never ended. It's like they kept upping the ante and keep foreshadowing some higher power, some bigger threat to deal with, but then they deal with it, and then there's just more foreshadowing. It's like, please just end. Oh, here she is. Please just end. Ooh. I caught depression, cried, peed, <laughs> came. <laughs> I'm pretty much okay. Oh. <laughs> Can you send me a screen cap? <laughs> and once you return to me, yes, very kind. Uh, and now I can open my old storeroom up. I can sell you some of the rare stock I've been keep gathering dust. Things may be a little time worn, but they retain full market value. Very precious stuff. Take a look. Batman's Geo. Batman's Geo, indeed. Finally! God, I need another one of these. So badly. Uh, might end with Galactus. Is, is that the guy who eats planets? I think it's time I buy this. And while I'm at it. Oh. Yeah, that guy. Ah, <sighs> Oh, one sec, I'm getting messaged. Oh, you sent me a picture. Oh, that's Rex. I've seen that character, I don't know anything about it. Anyways, off to the graveyard. Yes. I love this character. I just love the way this character pops out of the shadows. Really? <laughs> I love it all the time! So cute! Welcome, small intruder. I have been sound asleep here for some time. Some time? Ah, yes, yes. Well, now you've gone and woken me up. It's no matter, I suppose I might even be able to help you. I am Gigi, and if you have found your way into my chamber, it must mean you need my help. You see, sometimes we leave our regrets behind in the world. 
like black stains. And if we don't deal with these regrets, hope starts to drain from us. You have regrets of your own, little one. Let me peer into you for a moment. Ah, you don't appear to have any lingering regrets. How lucky of you. You don't need the services uh, of one such as I. Oh, ah, darling. I love scared so much. All right, bye, Mickey. Well, at least I have that character unlocked. All right, there's one place I think I can get to now. Oh. <laughs> So I just head directly downward, right? No, I don't think I do. I think I have to go. No, no, I th think. Yeah, I just have to go directly downward. Okay. Also, wait. I don't need this here anymore, I don't think. Fuck you! so beautiful like the music throughout the game is beautiful but this year in particular I love it okay I want to breathe I see. All right. Okay. Damn it. I think I only have one more tenth left in me. Holy shit. Okay, I'm low on health and reserve. This is the way back, right? Yes. Pretty sure there's nothing up here, right? It's just the way back. Ooh, that was close. Nice try. Ow. Damn it, I did again!
This isn't funny game. Yes. Ugh. I did it. I'm pretty sure I know who's in here. One of the sword masters? Yes, it is. Uh, the visitor? Gone. Why have you crept in here, little grub? Perhaps like me, eh? you have a taste for discovering new things. I'm Shio. And in a previous life, I was a nail master. And yes, the only thing that drove me was becoming... Uh, was becoming stronger and honing my skill with a nail. I imagine it was once my once my calling in life, but that feeling faded over time. Now I seek a new calling, something that speaks to my soul and compels me forward. That's why I spend my time here, secluded, trying to master uh, the art of creation, painting, sculpting. These things bring different kind of pleasure. Hmm, you don't seem very moved by what I've said. Uh, was it Shio the Nail Master you were looking for? Uh, do you come to learn the nail art? I, I'll teach you if you insist. Bitch, I ain't come all the way here for nothing. The, uh, the wielding of a nail, the wielding of a brush, these things are so not so different. We cut into the world uh, so that we can peer deeper inside. Hi, Karimu! Yes, it is a JoJo reference. Thank you for noticing. Uh, for now, I thought uh, I have nothing more to teach you. Your path forward, only you can see it. Good luck. So... Go Aname, Chudo. Then we've learned the cyclone slash. Uh, that was always Mado's favorite. Must have made him ecstatic to have a people like you. He always wanted to pass down what he learned to an, a new generation. He was not the most skilled pupil himself, but his enthusiasm and his kindness set him apart. I'm glad he achieved what he desired for so long to be a teacher. So wait. If I hold up like this... Okay, yeah. I see. I mean, so how have you been, Karima? sleep? Well, that's sad to hear. Maybe I can help you with some ASMR. I've been told recently that my voice is very, very sexy. Thinking of getting an ASMR mic, but that's gonna be like months, if not years away, because those things are expensive. The animation is beautiful. The animation this game really is beautiful. Oh, uh, so wait. We went there. I don't think we can go here yet. We can't go here yet. Although I will still mark it, because I know you can do something here, eventually. This takes a long-ass time. Can't get this yet. There's still paths here I have yet to explore. There's also a boss fight here that I need to deal with, isn't it, like, in here? Yeah. I think I'm gonna go to the mines next, then.
Have you ever played Hollow Knight Karimu? I think you would love this game. I want to go first, though. Oh, actually, two. Eh. No. Let's go here first. There is somewhere else I do want to go, but I don't think I have the money for it, even if I wanted to. I can get all right fair enough this is pro that's probably one of the most niche and useless <laughs> charms i find because you don't find lifeblood like there's one here there's one here is there only two i found so far like, I've only found two so far, and when you go to sit on the bench, they disappear, and you can't get that extra life back. So, it just, like, it's a nice little boost, but it feels so worthless. Just to have an entire charm dedicated to it. Like, maybe some sort of permanent upgrade, but not a charm. can't go in the here yet. That's a shame. Oh wait, what's... Night bleeds nowhere. Yeah, I'm not in the mood to deal with you right now. do his head straight. Got it. Wait a minute, was that always there?
right. So, we're now down here. Let's start exploring this way first. See what we find. I hate those little fucking shits. I knew it. See, this is bullshit. You do not put a platforming section with this enemy here. That is disgusting. That is so unfair. Mound. Hmm. I think I've been here before, but I can't remember what you get from here. Oh, and a headache because they decided to put those assholes in with platforming segments. Whoever designed this level needs to be fired. I'm sorry. I know there's only three guys who made this game, and it's a beautiful game, but seriously, this section is bullshit. Any platforming section with those enemies is bullshit. Period. I don't give a fuck. <sighs> oh my god! I will skin you alive. I'm going to die here, aren't I? Because I can't get back up, so there's only one way to go. <sighs> Thank you. I wish this camera properly tracked my face so you could see the look of absolute seething rage on me right now. I HATE YOU!
There's a Rutus side. Where does that go? I hear a grub. I hear a grub. There we go. Cock and ball torture. <laughs> <laughs> I bad level design, poor character controls, and dead game designer's mom. <laughs> uh, thank you, Deox. I needed that. Seriously, though, do not put those enemies in any platforming section. Especially one where the platforms turn into death traps in two seconds. Somebody move. Okay, so here's what we gonna do. Alright. I'm going to head back to the crossroads. to go to dirt mouth <sighs> I'm going to launch myself all the way over here and you are gonna help me drag that shadow back to me really Really? <laughs> and you seem to have made peace with your regrets in the most novel and I dare say brutal fashion. What a joy to behold. Farewell for now. I think I will savor your I I no, wait, I will think of you as I savor my meal. Whoops. All right, we're going up this way. Seriously? And I just, uh, okay. Fine, then have it your way. Have it your way, game. I hate these shits. I hate them so much. Uh. 
You know, I don't find the crystal mines that bad, but I know there is someone out there who despises this place. Like, it's left such a bad impression on them that they hate it. And it's easy to understand why, like, you have these laser crystal bugs. Which, like, you can't even get rid of them unless you waste soul. You got the miners who have some pretty annoying and dangerous attack patterns. You got those flies. Maybe I should get the moth wings first before I try this challenge, but eh. I don't want to get the moth wings, because getting them, well, I know it's very necessary, especially for this area, is also kind of annoying. Because once you get it, uh, the crossroads change, and more difficult enemies show up. Alright, I'm back, bitches. Ah. <sighs> okay, that was certainly better than the last time. Right, giving some soul back. Oh, that's what was over here. Wow, I really should have gone this way first. Free, little buddy, be free. And that's all that's up here. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Who was that? Oh, it's one of these shamans again. Yeah, this place does look familiar. It looks like the place where you get like the soul blast at the start of the game. Ascending dark. While holding down to strike the earth, reverse the power. Spell will uh the plate so hold on. This one's good, really? What's it do? Wait, 
Oh, wait. I guess it's like some big area attack then. Oh, so did I just jump all the way back down here? Did I really just do that? Come on! Okay, I made it out of here alive. Thank God. Fuck. if I go down this way then? Wait, was that something? Did I just see a ledge? Oh! I'm here. I know this place. Cursed are those who turn against the king. Yep, we're at the graveyard. Totally forgot that's what that area leads to. And here it is. To protect the vessel, the dreamers lay sleeping. Monomon, uh, the teacher, in her archive, surrounded by fog and mist. Lurin, the watcher, in his spire overlooking the city. Hera, the beast, in her den amidst the deep darkness beyond the kingdom. Through their devotion, Hollow Nest lays, lasts eternal. Grammar locations added to the map. Here we go. Go no further, little shadow. What compels it to climb out of the darkness? What compels it to return to this sacred kingdom? A call from beyond the seals? By the vessel? Or by the captive light? Will the seals break? They cannot be undone. But the vessel's vessel weakens. Uh, that plague springs anew. They must be undone. Yet still our seals remain. Our duty holds. It must be cast away. Our duty holds. It shall be done. Fade away, little shadow. Fade away and let us sleep in peace. Bitch, no, you're gonna wake up. There's the moth. What a terrible fate they visited upon you. To cast you away into this space between body and soul. 
Will we accept their judgment and fade slowly away? Or will you take up the weapon before you and cut your way out of this sad, forgotten dream? Let's go! Take in the dream nail. Cut through the veil between dreams and the waking. Hey, <laughs> here's the moth. <laughs> ah, you've returned. Welcome uh, to the waking world. Those figures, those dreamers, they reached out with what little power they still have and ride you into that hidden place. But that talisman you now wield, the dream nail, it can cut through the veil that separates the waking world from our dreams. Even the dreamers themselves cannot hide from such a weapon. Though I must admit that sacred blade has dulled over time. Together, perhaps, we can restore its power. You only have to bring me essence. Essence, the precious fragments of light that dreams are made of. Collect it whenever you find it and bring it to me. Once we have enough, we can work wonders together. Go out to the world, Wilder. Hunt down the essence that lingers there. Collect 100 essence and return to me. I shall teach you more. You got it. Have you seen those whispering plants? Okay, yeah. What are you doing poking around this dusty old mind of my, like mine? Nothing worth is hidden inside. Believe me. <laughs> I sound like Ui Bull. Oh shit. I keep pondering the world, probing the world around you with your dream nail. Things will reveal themselves. All right. Okay, I'm sorry. When were you ever here? I literally just got here. Go fuck yourself. The resting grounds. Passengers would come here to conduct rituals for those who passed on. Not anymore, though. Perhaps the dead conduct their own rituals now? Alright, you gave me that damn map, you piece of shit.
My savior's so close. We ascend into that ruin. Why? Things are so much simpler up here. Very well in your adventures below. Well, I had an adventure of my own while you were gone. I don't usually visit the town's graveyard, but I thought I'd go and visit uh, the grave of an old friend. As I was walking among the tombstones, I noticed a strange kind of chanting coming from somewhere nearby. Extremely sinister chanting. Eh, not that sinister. I looked around and found the source, and I saw two bright, horrible, huge eyes. They were cute, staring at me from the door in the dark cave. I pretended I hadn't heard the voice and seen the eyes and scurry back home. My friend will have to wait a little longer for her visit. Did you know the caverns continue below the capital? Few have ventured that deep, so the details are scant. Those who made it back told impossibly told of impossibly old structures and roads formed as though rock itself possessed a will. Ancient ruins? Did I remember that? Akala. Ah, <sighs> nada. Oh, whoops. Actually, wait, what's her soul? I'm glad I put down my weapon in this quiet life with corny makes me happier. It would be nice to stretch my legs again though, some sometime soon. Used to be an adventure? Like, I don't think I remember that. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, what, whatever is it you do now. I hope you three are looking after yourselves. You talking about? Hmm. Oh. Wow, I've only been streaming for an hour and thirty minutes. Damn. I tire so easily now. My old legs seem to ache more and more. Still, I'm lucky to grow old at all. So many others haven't. hole. What's in here again? Ooh. Oh, the dream shield! I remember that one. Yeah, I like that one. It wasn't always useful, but it was definitely a good thing to put on if you had, like, extra space on your notches. Dead remembered. Penitent moth. Greens. Reef. Rev red. Rev red. Ugh. What the hell is that word? Alright, I remember this area was just a little dangerous. And full of some scary bugs. That I can hear all over the place right now. These ones. God, they really made them sound scary. Nice try.
Hmm. Well, there's a grub down here still, so let's get that done with. God, these, like, undead mummy things, they sound so fucking scary. Ha! Ah, kill them both. Nice. Be free. I know where this goes. Oh, these assholes. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that right now. So this leads down to the city, right? Pretty sure it does. Yep. Hilarious. All right, well, let's not go here too far just yet. Still have that cave system to explore. I don't think I'm done with there. Got me with the second one. Didn't get me with the third one. Wait, did they do two damage? Holy shit. Soul Eater. I remember that being a notable gem, or like a notable charm. I can't remember what it did though. Might have been similar to one of the other charms I had, just more powerful. Damn it! explored yet. Oh, yeah, and that's that area. Isn't that the lake? Pretty sure it's the lake. Oh, wow. I remember you. Uh, this world, this cruel, sinful world. Jeez, can you have... Can you be any more Dark Souls, lady? Why does Cho wake... What does Cha want, or why does Cha persist? Uh, Lamir, you could not know the tragedy as complete as Cha's. Truth lovers strip, true lovers stripped apart two worlds that could not meet. And now, 
my lead lover dead for so dead so long in time dead so far away buried M M molina i amongst this hateful kin that did deny us our union that did reject Ches outsideness he doesn't suppose why are you talking to me now now low now low could she ask could she ask could she burden Namir would you could you deliver gift to her grave the gift is maybe small but trek but the trek is long she rests among her kin near the queen's lush refuge would such a thing be done to ask perhaps uh, impossible things made uh, mad things the mayor take up such a quest would be a kindness Chen has never forgotten you turn away she should have expected such this world is not one of favors only of heartache so I have to deliver a flower to a grave and I remember uh, you can't get hit while you do it. And I don't know if you can repeat the quest, which is why I'm saying no for now. It doesn't cause why must it be so. I will keep this in mind though. This is definitely one quest I want to complete. this way. I gotta deal with this asshole. Yep, and that's why I hate him. Can you please die already? Fuck! Thank you! God, I hate those guys. They never die. Stop there. Those who try to leave this kingdom are cursed. Better rest here until time itself sleeps. <laughs> Thanks for them years, mate. You're welcome. Hopefully, hope and freedom. I thought that strength alone could grant me these things. In my dreams, I could cut that plague in, uh, with my nails. 
Uh, then I turned my weapons upon the king. When I awoke in this sacred place, I began to understand. Those who hope are already doomed. If you still hope, do you still hope, Wanderer? Do you flee? Or will you ri raise your weapon and doom us both? Not right now, but I will definitely come to make sure that you return to dust. This is what I needed. Yeah, here's the lake. Yeah, what a calm place. Uh, it's action I want. Vicious and deadly battle. The serenity is, the serenity is a bore. I don't know. I quite like it. Whoa, Sana. A place calls to me somewhere beyond this lake, perhaps. Oh, hello! Oh, wait, no, never mind. We've already been here. Thought that was gonna be somewhere new. And here we are. So, let's see. I think that entire section of the map is just... Well, okay, there's still this area, but we're not doing that right now. Nope, can't afford. Alright. There's a place there I haven't visited yet. And there. Plus, I still need to return to the Grub Dad. All there is here then. All right. A little disappointing, but hey, I got another fragment. Did 
There is something up there. There has to be. Whatever. So, do not tell me there's nothing there. I'm keeping that thing in place. I think we do. Yep, we do. that what's that there's something up there I think I need the double jump for it how Is this a boss fight? I think it is. I think it is. And there's a way up, right? Please, please tell me there's a way up. I really don't want to do this boss fight right now. No. Just this. Anything up here? Okay, now you don't need a double jump for that. Okay, so there is a way back up. That is good to keep in mind. So I'm gonna do... Ow. This off. What I'm gonna do is prepare for that boss fight. Actually, I almost forgot there's a tree here.
Let's see, what, two more? Maybe. I do not like how uneven that number is. Now, before going further, what's it say up here? Twisting paths, traveling masses, vessels sealed. Hmm. Interesting. And now for the grips. Oh wow, six six six. Hello, grubs. Look at all these guys. I love those grubs, they're so adorable! Okay. Where to next? Oh. So. place we need to go. And since that's going to be a boss fight, we need to prepare for it as appropriate. As much soul reserve as I can. Don't piss me off, game. Not now. Look before you leap. ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! Ooh, I am salty. I'm a salty salmon. Okay, but there is a stone up here, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is. Alright, good. Full health. Full health, full soul. Let's do this. I'm ready. Here we go. This disgusting monstrosity. Actually, one second. The Moloch. God, it does that.
Ow! This thing looks so much like an like an elder thing from like at the Mountains of Madness. So Lovecraftian in nature. There we go. That wasn't too hard. Although I feel like it would've been a lot harder if I didn't have my loadout. Nice! That's like, what, seven containers now? One, two, three, four, five, six, yep, seven. Nice, nice. Be crying out uh, sometimes as I prowl the caverns, although I never actually laid eyes on it. Who or what is it calling for? Uh, as far as I can tell, its voice is never answered. Ferocious but extremely social creature. Becomes aggressive if not able to mingle with its own kind. Yep, the last of its species, or so it would seem. Now then. I think I'm going to keep exploring the Crystal Caves. Because there's one area I still haven't gotten to yet. Also, I think we can take this way. And this. Plus, it's appropriate that we go now, considering we already have our boss loadout, and I'm going to be dealing with the boss. Okay, so let's see. That'd be like here, I think, is where I need to go. So once we get through here, we go up in here. What's in there? Hmm. And then we go down and then in here. Another wielding a weapon. I suppose you'll be leaving many corpses in your wake. If you won't spare a thought for the dead, at least consider all the extra work you force upon those in my profession. <laughs> I feel bad. Every time I have to, like, exercise one of those ghosts, I feel bad.
No, I jumped! I hit jump! There we go. Here it is. Let's get this over with. Oh, hey, look, a bench. I wonder if I can sit down. Oh, wait. There we go, but we're not over yet. Yep, he jumps all the way up there. And then there's a part two to this godforsaken boss fight. I don't know if I've ever actually successfully beaten this boss before. Wait a minute. Here then? Ah, oh, I can't without the double jump. Got it, got it, got it. Everything seems to be pushing me towards that direction. But I don't want to go there right now. Please don't make me go there right now. I know. And so I'm busy collecting essence. White Wanderer, don't be shy. Bullet side, bed is soft. Oh my! Oh, someone has definitely written fan fiction. You cannot convince me otherwise. Did you know that the caverns continue even below the capital field? I've already heard this. I should wait. Wait, 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 wait. Someone's had to have written fanfiction. 
someone has had to have. <gasps> I, like, I've seen Hollow Knight Rule 34. Someone has to have done it. It has to exist. Indeed, a very depressing game. Though in some ways funny. There are lovable characters in this game. Elegant key. Sure. nice <clears throat> uh let's see what was i gonna grab i was gonna grab this soul eater greatly increase the amount of soul gain when you strike an enemy with the nail yes it is you're like what the third or fourth person to say that now <clears throat> now let's see what was i to put on here again this one. I'm getting quite the charm collection. Anyways, how have you been, Flet? Okay, so we are gonna go up. Felicity, you're awake! Hey, uh... Oh, you're just in time. Actually, okay, after I do this next part, you're gonna see my favorite boss fight. I decide we're gonna go there. Because last time you watched me play Hollow Knight, you didn't get to see it. How have you been, Felicity? Had a good night's sleep? Was just all right. I'm sure. Done with these? Come on. Thank you. 
Now, let's see. I'm gonna go up here. We're almost there. We're almost at 100. Dude, is there anything left? I hate doing this one because, like, the cliff is such a huge place. I wish it at least, like, gave you a hint as to where the last one was. Here it is. That has to be the last one, right? Yep. 96. Cool. Okay, you and I both know something here, pal. Damn it! You're gonna piss your pants, maybe? You're gonna shit and come? <laughs> Where did that come from? That came from somewhere. leads to here. Yeah, and that's all that this really leads to, if I remember correctly. Oh, hello. I don't remember that one. Also, I'm surprised I can't use the dream nail on this guy. Like he was... Oh! I knew it. Ah, I see you bear my blessing. I can't remember giving it, but my memory has been a little lacking late. Yeah, you totally gave me your blessing. Totally, guy. Good night. What a beautiful place. What an absolutely romantic place. <laughs> Alright, funny. Honestly, I can believe it came from 4chan. 4chan is a weird, weird place. And that's why I love it. Like, it is a place that can be so wholesome, but it's rare. But when it is wholesome, it's genuine. Butterflies of light, indeed. Okay, so, where was that on the map? Because I know there's somewhere here that I really need to get to. I think that might have been this place. No, that was this place. 
Okay, so it's below here. Got it. So, over here? No. Over here, then. This is it. What? Oh, wait, no, it's... Yeah, 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 I need to keep going, I need to keep going, that's it. Right? Right? There we go. And now... We ignite the torch. Right? The torch is lit. And they're on their way. be wondering who is on their way if you've never played this game especially in a more recent time well I'll show you as soon as I get back oh wait not this way whoops 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 Wait, right? No, I think... Hold on. No, I didn't need to go this way. Never mind. Remember when something not common... Uh, Asterix intentional... <laughs> Or something was like the biggest pile of fake. <laughs> Still more interesting than 4chan. I don't know. Then again, I don't know the place you're talking about. Still, 4chan is one of the oldest and most well regarded meme factories on the internet. No, no, we need to go. Here. I wonder what happens if I use the dream nail on this guy. My brother Shio, how far uh, you and that green kingdom thorns you call home? I think of you every time I raise my nail. Do you ever close your eyes and remember the time we spent together in Oro and our- with Oro and our master? Ah, so there is a third one. I like to think you do. Alright, time for this quick boss battle, which I have done before without dying, so I know it's possible. I am Gorb! Bow, 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 bow to Gorb. The great mind, I am Gorb. Okay. Ascend, 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 ascend with Gorb. No. Ow. 
Ow. Ow! I was lucky. Ow. Ow. There we go. I am Gorb, the greatest mind, the pain, ascend. Ascend, I am. You are finally at peace, noble spirit. You are finally at peace. Oh, it's gone rule 34. Oh god, Gorb. Ugh, I don't even want to think about that. No, 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 we're not thinking about that. There is some knowledge that humanity was not meant to possess. I'm gonna insane. <laughs> 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 yeah, actually, it kind of looks like the dummy. Ow. And now watch. They're gonna be here, right? Tell me you're gonna be here. Here they are. The roads between are dark and long, but the master's light will always guide us. A new land, different from the last. How many more will we see? These little bugs are cute. Did you call us? You called us, and we came. We came. You don't look scared. Why did you call us? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't matter. Don't tell me. We came, and I can smell something. Something deep below us. I want it. I want it. Dodo and Fire will dance together. So prettily, I think. I think. I've already crossed. The curious smell on you, but you don't have on you on your own fine little thing. So this circus, which was added as a free patch, uh, last time I tried to beat this game, I got as far as here and tried to beat the boss here. Holy shit, I raged. So I'm not gonna do this for a while. Still, I'm gonna talk to him. Babala, Geno. Hmm. He called us. Speak to Master. When the flame burns bright inside one's mind. Can heed the call across lands and time. Here he is.
Well, hello there, sexy thing. So, it was you who called us. Well met, my friend. Uh, well met. I am Grim, master of this troop. I am also Grim. How convenient. How coincidental. <laughs> I had a feeling you were gonna say Stolas. <laughs> the lantern has been lit, and your summons heed, heeded. A fine stage you choose. This kingdom followed by warm and root, by worm and root, a uh, perfect earth upon which our ritual shall take place. And you, my friend, your own part, your own part of this, sorry, your own part is far from over. As the lantern flared, your role was cast. Our compact written in scarlet fire. Bitch, I didn't sign anything. Eager we are uh, to see you commence. But first, some illumination is required. Grimchild. Oh, Across these lands my kin now spread, harvesting that essence peculiar to my breed. The flame in dream. Seek my kin, claim their flame, and return to me. Together marvels shall be achieved. But don't forget... Sorry, but don't fret, small one. For this task, you won't travel alone. My child shall guide you uh, to the flame and gather within itself that burning essence. Like you, the child uh, plays a key role in this task. Only with it uh, by your side will the flame and my kin reveal themselves to you. Alright, fetch quest. I'll leave that for another time though. Because right now, we got something way more important. You don't look okay. Oh, uh, look there. Something strange and sinister has suddenly appeared. Ugh. It fills me with dread. I think, uh, the best... The best I try to ignore it. Or I think it's best it Fuck! Ooh. And here's the girl we saved. Who totally wants to bang us. Okay, two things are needed. First and foremost, we got some essence to deposit. Let's go back to the moth. Turn. Let me have a look at the dream nail. Hmm, ready. Already have collected 100 essence. Quick work. Things come naturally to you, don't they? No wonder the dreamers uh, tried to bury you in that old dream. Perhaps you're frightening them? Or perhaps being a prisoner themselves, they desired your company? In any case, you still have a long way to go. Take this old trinket as encouragement from me, and return when you have collected 200 essence. Nice. Uh -huh. All right, Queen Station it is. Because we need to go into those sewers. And that's gonna be fun. Oh wait, no, not Queen Station. City storeroom, that's right. My bad. <gasps> oh, you're gonna like these sewers, trust me. Ow. Let's hope I wouldn't hit that spike. Wait, uh, where's the cellar? He's over there. Got it, so I just need to keep going down.
<laughs> funny you say that, Felicity. Very funny you say that. What do you think lives in a sewer in a game where everything is a bug? Yes. Oh, don't worry. You'll see. You'll see. Soon enough. Question or jumps? Because now I need to bring the lift all the way back. in here again? There's you. Alright. Just gonna quickly go to this guy. This short one's got an odd look about it, though vaguely familiar? Really, I'm familiar Very to you. Hard. Tell me, Archer, to you too. I got stuff to sell. Kachail, Leosok. Velmi Ardred. I read the cursed Japanese poem when I woke up. Uh, the one where if you read it, you get a death curse. Why do you do that? Why do you risk your own death? Velmi Artrit. I wish you could just sell all these at once so you don't have to keep hearing his dialogue More over and over again. again. Velmi Artrit. Velmi Artrit indeed. Oh, Paul. Oh, Paul. Velmi Artrit. Velmi. Archer Gachail, Leosok. Velmi Archer. Shut up. Boris Sun Kian. Uh, I'm gonna have to be right back. I got an emergency Velmi phone call. Don't worry. I'll just be like a few minutes. <laughs> 